Hi everyone, Ike here from Gemma Mechanics. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm working on a 2015 Ford F-150 Lariat. It's got the uh, it's got a 2.7 EcoBoost with the 6R80 6-speed transmission. Now I found something peculiar on this, and I figured to make a video of it because I could not find any other information. And that is, your main pickup tube goes up in here, but the filter that came out of this had a secondary pickup tube with a check valve that goes into this. And that goes to your auxiliary servo pump. And I uh, thought it might be uh, kind of important to put the correct filter back in. So this is what I got. Uh, let's see here. Here's the old filter. You can see the, uh, the check valve down in there. Now, all of the aftermarket filters that said that they were for this truck specifically did not have this second pickup. And uh, I'm going to say that it's pretty important that you get the correct one with that pickup. And all the auxiliary filters also did not have this seal either. They had this one of the orange uh, compression seals, kind of funky looking seals. They didn't have this and they didn't have this. Uh, same dimensions, but different filter. So I went to uh, directly to Ford, and they were able to get me the correct filter. It's the FT200, and I could not find this anywhere, online, aftermarket, anywhere. You have to get this from Ford. It's like $60 just for the filter. Get yourself a new gasket, and you're set to go. Uh, this little thing here is just, uh, just kind of presses on like that. You see the check valve. So you definitely want to clean this up. Swap this over to your new filter, and you're set to go. So uh, I couldn't find any information on it online, uh, no videos. Uh, everything I saw was people putting the, uh, the different style filters in that didn't have this. I say it's probably very, very, very important that you have this, otherwise your auxiliary servo pump is going to be sucking in dirty fluid, um, which will cause premature failure. So hopefully this helps out someone. Um, that's about all I got to say on it. <laughs> you definitely go OEM. Uh, don't screw around with aftermarket stuff when it comes to newer trucks. Just don't do it. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.